So today I'm going to show you how to make a cartouche. Let's begin. So the cartouche is one of those chefy techniques that comes super in handy for a variety of applications. Now, what is a cartouche? It's basically a parchment paper lid. And why wouldn't you just use a regular lid, you might ask? Well, firstly, because not every pot or pan comes with its own lid. And secondly, because the cartouche allows for a controlled rate of evaporation. This is especially important for braised dishes, sauces, and stews, where you don't want the pan turning dry. It's also a technique we use in professional kitchens when cooking fish without using a non-stick pan. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just exactly that. So without further ado, let's get into the kitchen and let's make a cartouche together. All right, so we're going to start off with some parchment paper. And with this parchment paper, we just want to create a nice square. So we're going to start by slicing our parchment paper. And from the top corner, we're going to fold the parchment paper towards the bottom corner. And there's going to be some overlap here and that's normal but we're going to slice through that in order to remove the excess parchment paper. And now as you can see, we have a perfect triangle and I'm gonna fold it once again. And then one more time. And here we should have a folded smaller version of the triangle we started out with. So with this triangle, there's gonna be three sides of course. There's gonna be the side with two flaps that open up. And of course, there's gonna be the top of the triangle and also the other end which doesn't open up. Now in order to make your custom cartouche for any pot or pan, you're going to place the side of the triangle that doesn't open up towards the center of the pan. And then you're going to use the rim of the pan to make a crease in the cartouche. And now we're going to cut along this crease. And with the same edge that doesn't open up, you want to just snip off the tip. And as we open up our parchment paper, there is our cartouche. And as you can see, it fits nicely in the pot. And if we had something brazing in here, it would fit nice and snug on top. Now within the parchment paper, there's these pores which is where the water will evaporate at a controlled rate. And the hole is created to balance out the rate of evaporation. Next, I'm gonna show you a restaurant technique we use to cook fish. Now, because we're cooking fish, we don't want the cartouche to have a hole because we don't want the flesh making contact with the pan. Now, in order for your cartouche to stick to the pan, add some oil to the pan and make sure you rub that all around before adding your cartouche. Next, you're gonna place your fish skin side down and then add a bit of salt to the flesh to season your fish. And we're gonna cook this on medium high heat. You wanna cook your fish 80% skin side down and then flip it around and cook it through 20% of the way. And as the fat from the skin begins to render down, 
it will start to become thinner and crispy. And the loin is always going to be thicker than the belly. And you always want to make sure of that. So you want to tilt the belly up so it doesn't overcook. Next, I'll place my fillet onto a plate. Now we're going to dive right into this fish. And the skin has become nice and thin and crispy. All right, I'm just going to keep enjoying this fish and no need to continue watching anymore. All right, there it is, the cartouche. I really hope this video taught you something new and make sure to practice making the cartouche next time you braise veg or meat as it's one of those skills that every cook should have in their arsenal. So if you like this video, then make sure to subscribe and comment. I would love to hear from you. And until we meet again, keep on cooking.